family hey good morning good morning good morning it is a video day in may number 16. today is may 16 2017 and it is 8 42 in the a.m happy tuesday hey what's up we're gonna get this out the way early because i have a lot to do today so i said okay look check this out i just fed my dogs just had me a cup of coffee and um, I got some chores to do outside. And but before I do all that, I said, okay, well, let me come on in and say good morning to the family. <laughs> okay, it is Tuesday morning. Aren't these days going by so goddamn fast? These days is going by so fast. It's unbelievable. It is in the middle of May already. Just take that in for a minute. Marinate on that shit. It is May 16th already. Wow. <clears throat> right wow happy birthday janet happy birthday mommy happy birthday ralph these are all my earth sign people what's up happy birthday baby you looking good too i'm proud of you the show is doing incredibly well i love you thomas happy birthday baby damn for real like for real, for real, for real. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm blown back. See, because see, the thing is, still, it don't come on. Y'all don't come on in my city, okay? See, KJLH. Once you get to probably about, I want to say about Ontario, then therefore it start phasing out, and you don't get it anymore. Like I'll get like 99.1, and you know, um, 93.5 comes on out here. And then there's a couple others, but, you know, I've been on Pandora. Let me just go and tell you that. I've been on Pandora, and I've been stuck with it. I put Anthony Hamilton's name in the what you call it, and I just roll with everything that roll with that. And, oh, my God, I just love it. So, anyway, but, um, so I don't know what's going on, but I, but I, you know, got an inclination. And so all I'm saying is tell Uncle what's up on Peterson if we can get back over there, okay? I'm just saying if we could go, you know, have a little table classes or whatever, because the domino and all that shit, I'm down. What's happening though? See what's up on the table classes. We need another one. It's been what? How, when was that? About 10 years ago? We're going to need another table classes up in this motherfucker. So just tell Unc, holla at Peterson and them, and see what's happening on that. Okay. Um. So, and what else is going on? Oh, y'all. Damn. I really don't want to talk about this, but I know I got to because I'm getting, I'm getting messages about it and... You know, I really don't want to talk about this, but Monique, listen, mama, damn. <laughs> you know, I mean, listen, wow. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't, I don't know what to say. You know, I don't know what to say. I did see uh, you and Sydney on yesterday, on TMZ yesterday. And, you know, so I was like, okay, you know, because damage control begins, you know. So it's like, okay, um, I just, wow. I, you know, and it's like now it's just taking on a whole different, you know, it's just everywhere. I mean, just wow. This morning when I, um, I jumped on my email and it was on Essence uh, um, email that comes. I think I get it like every day couple times out the day or whatever and it's like different little updates about different stuff and it was on there and I was like damn you know and you know hey I don't I don't I, I, you know it's not my truth so you know I I don't I don't know I don't know what to say you know I I I, I, I it, ain't, it ain't got nothing to do with me you know what I'm saying I'm just I I'm just you know I just you know I don't know what to say you know what I'm saying I'm looking at it from all kind of different angles. I'm looking at everybody, you know, I'm looking at everything and, you know, I can, but I can also see how, you know, sometimes you can allow your mouth to overroll, over, override your behind. You know what I'm saying? My mom used to say that. I'm probably saying it wrong, but that's the only thing that comes to mind when I'm thinking about this. It's like, you know, sometimes you could be on a roll and you just own one, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, Sometimes you probably mean to say 
certain things, but just a certain type of way, probably, or probably use a different choice of words, or, um, sometimes it's the way in which, but then I also know when you get a little 420 in you, you know what I'm saying, and I'm not saying that, I'm not saying, you know what I'm saying, so I don't need no motherfuckers coming in on me on whatever, but I, but I'm just saying though, when you can get a little extra in you, when you can get a little, you know, a little yank in you, a little yak or whatever your get down is. Um, you can get a little bit of that in you and sometimes you can just, you know, just go. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, wow. But one thing I do know, though, uh, we are governed under, you know, a poetic license. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, um, and... and <laughs> Man, you know, it's like, wow, this is just, I don't even know what to say, mama. Shit, fuck it. I don't know what to fucking say, you know, but you are a comedian, you know, and that's what, you know, people need to also understand. You know, when you are governed under a poetic license, when you're in the entertainment genre, you know, a, 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 a lot of things, you know, I just don't, man, I don't know what the fuck to say, nigga. What the fuck? What the what? What the fuck do I say? You know what I mean? What the fuck? I don't know. I don't know what the fuck to say. You know. And if I'm using my words in a particular kind of way, somebody's watching this and they, you know, what I'm saying, I'm not jumping no fucking side. I ain't on either side, nigga. I'm 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 straight. I'm on I'm on neutral, okay. But I'm just, you know, I know, you know, people would probably like to hear my opinion. And still, my opinion, let me just say, my opinion is Switzerland. How about that? My shit is Switzerland. Because that's not my reality, you know, of, of, of you know, the key players that was, that's in this. That's not my reality of them. I don't know anything about that. This is Monique's reality. This is, this is your reality. This is what you feel. This is your truth. And you just brought your truth out. Before everybody, <laughs> and God damn, it's a trip on what these goddamn camera phones and shit do nowadays, ain't it? Oh my God, it's a trip. You never fucking know on who's watching you, who's taping you, or whatever. You just never fucking know. You just do not fucking know. You can go to the just casual spots, pumping gas. You know what I'm saying? You can just do just some regular casual shit. Go to the fish market. <laughs> I mean, casual shit, and you just never fucking know who's watching you, who's taping you, or whatever. I know that now. You know what I'm saying? And even in relationships, you just never fucking know. You know how you could just be recording, and it's like you just, you know, you and your element, you just doing you, you just, you know what I'm saying? You just moving and shaking it on, on you know, on your own thing. And then here come video surface. You know, and it's like, damn. You know what I mean? I didn't authorize that shit. You know what I mean? And so it's like, you was in your element. You know what I mean? You was you was doing you. You you know what I'm saying? They, 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 you know, all these people came down here to come check you out. And this is how you roll. This is your get down. There's no filter with it. You know what I'm saying? I understand your candor. I understand your get down. I understand how you roll. I understand your truth. I understand all of that. You know what I'm saying? But, damn it, you know, this has made a ruckus. You know what I mean? And unsettling the words. It's everywhere. You know what I mean? And, and what's so cold about it is people that didn't like you anyway, motherfuckers that really, you know, was on the fence of, uh, you know, whether or not people... Um, support you, you know, different people, whatever. It's like it just made them come out the woodwork saying all kinds of, you know what I'm saying? I even saw, I even saw um, this on Wendy yesterday. And uh, then, you know, then when it, I, I knew TMZ was going to hit, but I just didn't know that you and Sydney was going to be on there. But I was like, okay, now here it is right here. I'm like, damn, you know, but I, I, I understand. And now here my motherfucking ass talking about it. You know what I mean? And, and you know, my position is Switzerland, but I also want to say, especially to, like, people that, you know, when you're dealing with, uh, like I told you guys before, you know, this poetic license, you know, that, you know, but, 
you know, I know, I know some of you probably gonna be like, well, you know, fuck that poetic license. What the fuck that means? So that means you can say whatever the fuck you want to say. And then therefore I'm governor of this right here. So I can just say whatever the fuck I want. Like a cop can do whatever the fuck they want to do and say, well, you know what? Because of my badge, I'm able to do this right here. No, I'm not saying that. Okay. Um, nigga, I ain't saying nothing. Let's just go with that. I ain't saying nothing. You know, peace be still. Okay, let's allow this to allow it to take its course and let us let it just ride out or whatever, you know, make the appropriate apologies if you deem necessary or whatever, you know, and then just let, you know, let's just move on, period. So, <coughs> y'all, um, um. Over the weekend, I also, you know, you guys know Harvest has come in and everything. So, you know, I got all kind of shit that was ready to just get, you know, canned up, bottled up. You know what I'm saying? So I did all of that over the weekend and that was so hella cool. Um, I have to say that um, due to the weather of this, of this past, uh, from the beginning of the year to now, you know, of course... It stunted my growth and affected my yield a great deal, but it was okay because the potency is where it's need to be at. So th that's counted all joy. You know what I'm saying? Counted all joy. I'm, I'm still winning. Okay? Shining. All of them winning. Huh? So yeah. <clears throat> Beyonce, girl, you just look so cute pregnant. I just want to say that shit. Beyonce look good fucking pregnant. She looks so cute pregnant. And I'm seeing motherfuckers is like, okay, well, you know, are she, is she getting lip injections and all of this and this and this. It's like, damn, do people fail to realize that when folks get pregnant, they swell up? They nose swell up. They, they lips and shit swell up. And I was never pregnant with twins, so I don't know. What that? That's a whole other different get down times too. But goddamn it, you got your shoes and shit on. You wearing heels like some other. But I love them though. See, those are the kind that I could probably really support in like real life. You know what I'm saying? Because they gotta have some thick ass heels on them to balance up all this right here. You know. So I'm liking your shoe game though. I'm really, really liking your shoe game on the different little shoes that you putting with your outfits. It's really, really cute, Virgo. I'm like, wow. Y'all, I, I just, man, I just, I don't, maybe it's just my own little element, but I love me some earth signs. I love me some earth signs. I bullshit you not. Though fire is in my sign, you know, a few times, you know what I mean? My rising is, is Leo, you know what I mean? So when your Mercury and shit is Leo, nigga, you already, you, you know what I'm saying? You already got some leadership type skills or whatever, and you already lit on a whole nother different level, you know? But my moon is Gemini, though. You know, so that's how, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, viewed in relationship status and things of that nature and my, you know, my shadows and such um, are, are, are um, moon, which is my, is in Gemini. So, you know, hey, it, it's whatever. But Virgo, how about Virgo is in my shit like three, four times, though. Don't, don't fuck with it. Yeah. My, my shit, Venus is in Virgo, huh? You know what I'm saying? My son is a, uh, what? Virgo, huh? My Pluto is Virgo. And then my, wait a minute, my ascendant is Leo, but Virgo is in something else too. I can't think right now, but I know it's at least those three though. It's at least those three, okay? So, but yeah, I ask that you guys really start getting to know who you are though on some real shit, on some really real, real, real shit though, because... You know, once you begin to find out who you are, really, people can't really fuck with you. You know, their opinion of you is neither required nor desired. When you begin to know exactly who you are and trust you and trust your judgment, you're unstoppable. You can't really be penetrated. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, you are non-biodegradable. You understand me? For the simple fact that you're so strong. When you have strong roots, you never have to worry about the wind. Please understand that and know that. You know, take that, take that with you today, you know. Also, do not accept a no from somebody that's not in a position to give you a yes in the first place. Let me also say that. Somebody needed to hear that that's watching this right now. I needed to say that. You know, as you guys begin to grow and begin to um, look at your life in a different perspective, in a different set of eyes, and then you start to look at the different um, facets of you, 
you know, and you begin to say, you know what, there's certain things about my motherfucking ass I really don't like, you know, and then it, you start thinking about or, or start having this mirror effect of your shadows in the people that are your nearest and dearest, your, 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 uh, your starting five, you know, look at your starting five, the people that you most hang around, you know what I'm saying, your dude, your, your best, your best partner, you know, uh, your side nigga or whatever, uh, you know, um, look at the motherfucker that you hang it with at work or, you know, your spiritual person that you hang with, you know what I'm saying, that's just your sister at church that you roll with, look at your starting five, because it's per, it's, it's different aspects of you that are weak in you that you need to strengthen are in them. And they're bringing you a message. They're messengers. You have to look at them differently. Okay? Don't really judge them. I know it's hard because I'm analytical. I'm very analytical. That's the Virgo part of me. But try not to be so analytical about them because they a lot of times they're not realizing what they, the energy that they bring in. They're not, they're not really realizing the fact that they're also messengers. So actually you're learning from them. What you're learning from them is the weakness in you. And you got to pay attention. Okay, pay attention to the highs and lows of your energy around certain people. Do you begin to feel anxious? Do you feel open? You know what I'm saying? Do you feel liberated? Do you get around a certain person? It's like, wow, I could really share my whole life with you. Or do you get around somebody and be like, you know what? This is the motherfucker right here. This motherfucker right here can't even walk my dog. You know, you know, or am I just really want to fuck him? You know what I mean? Or this motherfucker right there, this motherfucker right there really think that they this, that, and this. All of those things are really your own mirror. You know, those are your own shadows. So, write them down. Like I told you guys yesterday, write all that shit down. Write it down. Write it down. Write it down. Put it on the side of your bed. Stick it to your mirror in your bathroom. Stick it on a little notepad right there at your desk or whatever. And look at those things, each one of them, and digest those things. Look at it and be like, you know what? I ain't, that ain't none of me. I ain't, that ain't never been me, nigga. I ain't never been jealous. I ain't never been this. I ain't. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. You know what I mean? And I know that these bottom feed motherfuckers get on your nerves. You know, the little haters. See, those are people that are, they, they, they vibrate real low. They, they frequency is real low. They bottom feeders, okay? And they feel so fucked up about themselves that they have to say something about somebody else to make them feel better about their low state. See, so then therefore, you really got to, to a degree, pity them. Be like, oh, man, that's fucked up. For real? Let me try to help you up. Because really, yo, all the shit you're really trying to do or say about me is a reflection of you on some real shit. And they're really bottom feeders. Not to say, you know, not to be, you know, saying some bad, shit, fucked up shit about them. But really, they vibrate real low. Their frequency is low. So they associate and assimilate with low things. You know, those are the people around that you see that they're just out here just promiscuous. Just fucking any and everybody. Their frequency is very, very low. And the people that migrate and the women and the men that roll with that, their frequency is equally as low. So then therefore, they don't really know who they are yet. They're out here trying to figure it out. But while they're trying to figure it out, they're selling their soul and doing some dumb shit that they really don't realize. And it's like they really think they're having fun. they like, shit, while you over there trying to be on some old faithful shit and while you over here trying to do all this right here shit, I'm having fun, I'm doing this, but really they're not. They're coming home to a quiet-ass room by themselves. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of them have other t different things that you know, coincide with that. A lot of it is alcoholism. A lot of it is drugs. A lot of them get so motherfucking blow, butted out. You know what I mean? A lot of them probably taking different pills or whatever. A lot of them are probably bipolar and different with, uh, dealing with other different little psychosis issues. You know what I'm saying? So, when you run across these type of people and you see these different type of people, and especially if they migrate into your reality, then there's certain things about you that you also need to take, you know, take heed of and look into on some real shit. I know I'm, you know, we was on some entertainment shit, but just something brought me in to speak on this because somebody need to hear this, you know, and trying to figure out, you know, well, auntie, where do I begin? You know, it's like, damn, I keep meeting the same dudes. I don't know why I keep meeting the same guys every time. 
the reason why you're meeting the same guys every time is because they're vibrating to your weakness. Okay? So strengthen that about you. If you feel as though you're real clingy, if you feel as though, you know, you're real needy and shit, then therefore fix that shit about you. Do it internally. While you're sitting at your desk, you know what I'm saying, while you're in your room, sometimes cut all that bullshit off. Like right now, I ain't got no TV on, fuck Pandora, all that shit. It's quiet. I was just getting centered with the soil. You understand? I'm an earth sign. Okay, so I was outside getting centered with the soil before I came in here and started giving you guys this message. And this is just the turn that it's taken. So wherever it's going, we're just going to ride the wave. Wherever this vibration go, we're just going to ride it. We're just going to release to it. We're just going to let it go on wherever it takes us. Because somebody needs to hear this right now. Real 100 shit. Somebody need this right now. You know, and whether I'm talking to one of my colleagues, hey, you know what I'm saying? Ride this wave right here. Figure this shit out, you know, figure this motherfucking shit out because it takes everybody a different time in their path before they begin to get it, you know, so that's why you have to respect where somebody else is at. If they ain't on what you want, that don't make them a bad individual. That don't make them on some bullshit or whatever. They just not where you at. That's all. They're not where they at, but somebody in their life is going to get them to a point where, you know what, I'm tired of this. Everybody get it at their own time. So, when you meet different people, no, nah, that's not a loss, it's lessons. And like on my last, my last get down, it was so many lessons that I needed to know about me. Oh my God, I was sitting up there, I was like, man, sometimes like I told him, I can't even get mad at you. I can't even get mad at you because God damn, I see me like a motherfucking some of this bullshit you doing. You know? So then therefore, once you go through the different stages, <laughs> it's different stages, you know? You go through anger and sorrow and, you know, feeling ashamed and all kind of other shit. And then, after all that, then you become liberated. You become in an acceptance. Then you begin to sacrifice yourself. Like, okay, well, look, check this out. You know what? It didn't work out, but it's all good, baby. It's all good. You find your way. Because everything that I needed to learn about me, I've learned it. So now, either you're going to vibrate higher, so then, therefore, we can continue on this journey... Or I have to let you go. Because holding on to you is keeping me from going where I need to go. I can't hold on no more. I got to go. So either you're going to vibrate higher and we're going to roll out and we're going to soar. Or I'm sorry, but I'm going to I'm gonna let you go. And that is where you got to be, family. That's where you got to be. Because and therefore, at the end of the day, you should be striving to become a better you. You know, start getting into your higher self. Because then, therefore, what kind of kids, your kids are going to one day take care of you. And if you instilling in them a lot of hooking and crooking and a lot of bullshit and tripping and tripping and, and, and tricking and shit, then, therefore, what are they, what they going to do to you when you need them? You understand what I'm saying? So, see, I like, I instill all kinds of shit in mine. I got to. Because they have to know that this is some, it's some real life shit going on out in this motherfucker. And it's a lot of people battling shit that you don't have no, no idea about. You don't know nothing about. You don't know nothing about what they going through or what's going on in their heads. So there was a time to where I used to jump out on cars on motherfuckers. You know, my road rage was crazy. You know, you done cut me off or whatever. I done walked up on your car door tripping out and all that. I had to stop that shit. I had to stop that shit before that shit fuck around and kill me. Before some motherfucking body fuck around and pull out something on my ass. I had to stop that. I got to see it. And now it's like I see this shit on TV. I be seeing motherfuckers get bumped off. And I'm like, wow. There was a time I was doing that ignorant ass. That's some dumb. That, oh, my God. Father God, I'm so glad you delivered me from that. I had to be delivered from different things. I was doing some dumb shit that I really didn't realize that I was taking all kind of chances with my motherfucking life. Besides taking felony chances, I was taking just un unethical motherfucking chances and just doing just dumb shit. And I'm like, now that I look back at it, I'm like, damn. God has shown me favor to get me all the way over here. So like when my kids was talking about, okay, well, mom, if you could take a pill... And it'll take you back 20 years in your life, but you, uh, but you have money. Would you do? Do you have more money? Would you do it? It was something that the kids had found on Facebook, and they were like, <coughs> "If you take this pill, you can have eternal life, and you can take this pill, um, you can have all these riches, and you can take this and this and this." And I was trying to explain to my kids that you know what, 
fuck riches. What's riches? Riches are subjective. Everybody deem riches differently. You know, so riches is just riches. What you want to strive for is wealth. Wealth is a whisper. Wealth is you just gliding through. You ain't got to say nothing because everybody see you. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't, no, I have no, I have no desire for riches. And I hear people say all the time, you know, I want, I want shit, I want to get rich. I want bands and, you know, meal tickets and all that kinds of stuff. Well, I want time. I want peace. I want to soar. I want to travel. Let's go. You know, I want love. I want understanding and hell of a communication. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. I want a cold ass tribe. I want to be able to sleep and relax and know that everybody around me got me. We got each other. That's what I want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want unconditional love. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I want to be able to go, do, see, go to the store and get. I don't want to think about what it costs. If I need it, I want to get it. But I want to take care. I want to be able to, you know, it's about needs with me. You know, wants go and come. You know what I mean? Wants depend on the weather, depend on your circumstances, depend on what you're trying to work towards, where you're trying to go to. Now, I want some deeper shit than that. Some real, real, real deeper shit than that. Get to know yourself, family. Get to know where you are. You know what I mean? Before before you check out of this motherfucker, you really need to get to know who you are because as you get older, if you're not having fun, you done made some mistakes in your life and you still ain't figuring it out yet. When you get a certain age, you ain't supposed to be still out in this motherfucker, you know, mean and, and hateful and all that old type of shit and hating and, you know, not versed and not traveled. What the hell? What are you doing? You guys start getting your shit together. Start taking care of these kids and stop allowing each, these kids to take care of each other. You know what I mean? Get on your game. Get on your A game. Start trying to figure out who you are and why these people keep vibrating, vibrating, you know, and migrating to you. Figure that shit out. You know, start figuring this shit out on some real life, some real life 100 shit. On some real shit. Yeah, I can come up in here and we can clown all day long. I don't call motherfuckers a barrel of them. It's no problem. I can do that. With, it's nothing. That's who I am. I don't have no script. I don't have no teleprompter on the side. I got a flip right there. This is all coming off my dome and pouring from my heart on some real shit. YouTube don't pay me enough for this right here. You understand me? So this is not about monetization or AdSense coins. This ain't got nothing to do with that. Okay? Because on some real shit, it ain't what you think. Okay, this is just nothing more than a call and this is nothing more than a message. I'm just a messenger. Okay, I'm just a vessel. I was just giving this verbiage and I'm giving it to you. And on that note, family, it is 9, 10 in the a.m. I got some soil to turn over. I have some things to do before it's time for me to tend to my children. Okay, I've done my work. I also um, have to get on these writing projects and get those um, emailed out. And that is uh, my business of the day. It is Tuesday morning. I love you guys. Figure your shit out. Okay? Get out of your own damn way. Okay? Stop being mad at everybody. It's you. <laughs> it's you. It's you. You're the reason. Figure it out. I love you guys. Love you guys for watching. You guys have an awesome day. I'm gone. Bye-bye.